Hello! This is Guy Christian 9 with Let's Play Lunar Legend. In the last episode, we beat up a giant baby Godzilla or something and got the diamond back. And now, Raymond owns the store because he's the um, child of Donald Trump, I guess, or something. Anyways, <laughs> uh, we were told to go back to Master Mel for whatever reason. Like, hey, we did it! Good job, kids! Now get going! Before I rip your heads off, use this trophies and sonomizing and whatnot. <laughs> Okay. Meaningless chores, meaningless. Alright. Hey, you got the diamond back! Well done, Alex! You said you wanted to be a dragon master. I'm no expert, but... You first need to see all... Are you kidding? <laughs> the Magic Guild has a guy named Galleon who knows all about dragons. Hey, <laughs> look into your eyes, Alex. I remembered the first time I met Dime, we had a one-on-one -on -one match. I fight. The Magic Guild! Alex, let's ask Nash to help us! So yeah, now we have a flimsy pretense to get Nash back into our party! Huzzah! And so if you remember, um, from, um... About an episode ago, I can't... Uh, <laughs> I can't remember... No, no, it was, um, before last episode. Yeah, so episode out before... Yeah, whatever, you know. Um, Nash was talking to some fortune teller woman who actually popped up in the sewer for like three seconds before popping off after laughing or whatever. But yeah, Nash is over here, and so now we're going to see if Nash is still here. And of course he isn't. <laughs> uh, we gotta look. Nash? Oh, you didn't see him. When he left, he said he had some business with you. So yeah, she pretty much tells us, uh, good luck. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't exactly remember where to go. I think... I think what you have to do is, uh, you have to go back to Ramus' shop, I think, because I think he goes like, Oh, Ramus, Alex will be there, and... Yeah. Stay, stay, so. I don't know. I'm not lost for words today. <laughs> and sure enough... Huh? Isn't that Nash over there? No, it's the Easter Bunny. Oh, no, I don't want to go up the stairs. Hey, I heard all about it. You KO'd the sewer monsters? Even if you couldn't use magic, you'll still make the grade for going to Bane. What do you say? Do you want me to talk to Galleon about it? Hey, if you'd like, you can brush up on your magic skills at the magic, the Bane Magic Guild. So yeah, now he's all chummy for some reason. I don't get it. Can we see Galleon? Can we? Can we? Of course. Who do you think I am? Hmm. <laughs> A thought occurs. Way to go, Alex. Maybe we'll hear about the dragons. No, really? You're so rude. Let me finish the story. Yeah, now, way to go. Aside from that, the Magic Guild loves geniuses. Like me. They're looking for me. Besides Galleon. We might even le meet Lemia, one of the four heroes. Really? In that case, let's do it, Nash. So yeah, we'll be able to see the second of the... Yeah, it's not decision, but yeah, we'll be able to see the second of the four heroes. Not that the first was any use. Oh, Alex, I'm meaning to tell you this. Yeah. <laughs> I'm staying in Moravia. No more adventures for me, I guess. I got the store to run and lots of stuff I'd like to do myself. Alex, you'll be adventuring for both of us now. I was already adventuring for three people, and now I'm gonna be. Oh. What was I going with that joke? <laughs> uh, sorry, now I haven't decided. Yeah, I know. What's all this? What are you saying, Alex? Yeah, what is he saying? Now, Ramus had a dream too. Like Alex, who longs to be a dragon master. Now oh, that makes sense. Yeah, okay. Take care, Ramus. Give him hell, all of you. Drop by when you can. Alex has been lots of fun. Thanks. So yeah, if you come back later in the game, um, yeah, there's a new, um, new servant here for some reason. I don't get it. But, um, yeah, if you come back later in the game, uh, Ramus will actually be selling stuff. He sells pretty much basic item stuff, just like the, um, the bag, is store, you know, you know, that icon. But yeah, we lose Ramus forever, and Ramus never comes back into our party. But instead, we have Nash in the back, and he's horribly under level. <laughs> oh my god, he's six levels under. That's pathetic. Alright, well, now that Nash is back on our side, we can actually do some shopping at the Black Rose Street. Mainly with armor and weapons, because, um, oh well, yeah, Nash has pretty much less a, a lot less HP than Luna right now, so... Getting him some upgrade would be very good, plus we just got a hell of a lot of money, so, and... You can't be serious! Only one point?! What?! D I don't get it. 
I thought it was supposed to have more. Well, we're gonna at least upgrade his um, attack power, at least. I know there's some powerful rods here. We recommend the flame rod, even if you don't equip it, you can still use it as a tool. You can use flame balls. Oh yeah, that's the thing about some of the items in this game. Some of them have like, oh look, a, a ten, yeah, that's all right. Yeah, so yeah, uh, Rams, uh, no, Nash is the only one that can use it. Flame rod is what we want. There are some items in the game that if you use them as regular items, kind of like accessing heal gems and stuff, they'll actually uh, cast spells themselves or do some special magic thing. I think. I might be thinking about Final Fantasy 1 here, but I think if you use the flame rod, like cast fire or something. But, um, giving it the Nash, it definitely boosts his attack power up a hell lot. And since I'm now making it rain, let's buy a card, just to show off how it works. All 100s. I think it's random, to be honest. Uh, let's see. Among... oh wait. Oh yeah, that's right. It, it is random, but you have to, you, you have to pick one of three cards, and you can't say no once you've said yes, I think. But the, the three cards that you can choose are random. And yeah, I bought the metal card. I already had that card, though. But, um, yeah. So, that's how it works, I guess. You, you just gotta get lucky, I guess. Alright, so let's head on. Pretty catchy music. And literally magic's mu music. Uh, no, what am I saying? God, I've been watching too much Big Kid, uh, Big Dim. <laughs> uh, Lunar Legends uh, music is actually not that bad. It's not the best in the world, but it's all right. You know, let's see. Yeah, Nash can't wear anything. This is what the hell? I've 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 raised his defense by one point. What the? What good will that do? <laughs> Alright, let's uh, bulk up with some um, supplies, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, uh, 14 heal downs. I think I'm good there. Let's buy a heal drop up to 5, I guess. Uh, buy a few paralyzed cleanse or stuff, whatever that is. Uh, 5 holy waters. Holy waters are, you know, restore rolls, basically. And, uh, let's see, no, alright. So yeah, I think, I think we're fine on 14 heal and gums for now. Although, it might be a good idea to stock up as much as you can, because this, the next part in the game, um, really does kind of use items quite a bit. But anyways, here is the exit to Moravia, and we're finally on the main continent of Lunar Legend. Katarina, or whatever. Now, when you first start out in the, this world map, you can choose from Nanza, which you don't want to go to, and the Spring of Transmission, which you do. Yeah, Nanza, you won't want to go there until much later in the game. Uh, so, um, yeah, we'll go here first. Well, I wouldn't say much later in the game, but you don't want to go there yet. Because the Spring of Transmission is how you get the Bane, and that's where we're supposed to go, and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, what's this? It's a pentagram. Oh, no, it's the Spring of Transmission. Entrance to Vane. This magic circle sends you to Vane, floating in the sky. You can't really fly through the sky, right? Sure I can. I can fly. No. <laughs> yeah. What's this feeling? I don't like it. Hmm. Come on, let's go. Throw caution to win. Jump before you think, or whatever. So yeah, um, if you if you need to prepare, just say wait a second. But when you're ready, just say any time now and go. Hey, nothing happened. What is this? This is a chip. What is this? This has never happened before. Oh well, something's happening. Eric, right, what's wrong? Awful dense. Isn't this Grandpa's magic circle? Who's Grandpa? How rude you. Still. Luna? That was... Well, something's going on. No! How unusual! Is the magic flow disturbed? Where are we? Yeah, I like to know that too. Weird place. Is this vain? It can't be! Perhaps that disturbance in magic power somehow reacted with the magic circle. The spring of transmission has a uh, magic circle just like it, so it might have to do something with vain. Wait a sec. How odd, I feel no magic power. Yeah, that's not good. No, the magic power of this string of transmission is being drawn to something else. So, it won't work, right? So yeah, there is, there is a snatch here. Yeah, we've just stumbled across the third dungeon of the game, technically. <laughs> 
or fourth if you include the ship. I I'm gonna say third because the ship's not really. <laughs> but yeah, this is uh. Well, I won't spoil it yet. But yeah, and basically all he's saying right now is that we just screwed ourselves because we can't go back because the uh, teleportation thing is being weakened by something. And it caused a teleport accident. So yeah, we're somewhere random. What's what's that something else? Who knows? So the cause must be close. So yeah, we can deal with it now if we want to. So, okay, let's find it. Yes, yeah, so we must destroy the string's power to get to Vane. Alright, let's pause for a second. I need to check my stats and all that. And, yeah, you can add <laughs> yeah, there's a spoiler right there, so you know. Won't say anything just yet, but Alright, so uh, one of the gimmicks with this dun uh, dungeon here are these little crystals here, which are warp points! Which warp you to different sections of the dungeon. I'm exhausted, my body is heavy, even my magic power seems to be disturbed. I guess something like What? I can feel a great magic power ahead! Nash, what? Great magic power? So is this vain? <laughs> uh. Luna, but I'm fine, I'm just tired, don't worry. The strong magic power that Nash feels. Could it be causing this awful feeling? So yeah, something's going on with Luna and Nash is detecting stuff. Huh? That way! Man, we don't get much time to move, do we? And in here we find... A gigantic Alphina statue! <laughs> it's huge! What a huge statue of the goddess. It can't be. No. Uh, he knows something. The rock wall I saw in the weird woods was surprising, but nothing like this. No, what you m just said might be right. Huh? Oh, it's spoilers. I'm sure. It's vain. This is underground vain. Wait, you just said it's floating in the sky. <laughs> floating on the ground. Oh, well, technically there is... Well... Duh, oh, I'm stupid. So this goddess statue is drawing magic power? No, this goddess statue also seems to have powerful magic. But I feel the magic power of the statue flowing elsewhere. It might be ahead. And since it is an Alphina statue, healing! And I'm gonna cut it off here. This is Gaia Christian I with Let's Play Lunar Legend. We've stuck ourselves in the underground sub vein, and in the next episode, we'll explore the place and see what the hell is draining all the magic from us. So I'll see you then. Actually, I won't see you just yet, or later just yet, because I'm going to show off the enemies of the dungeon, starting with these three things here. Todd stools. Yeah, I'm deciding to get the enemies out of the way first so that I don't forget, like I did with Meridian Stewards, and then skip one of the enemies. So yeah, Todd stools. Uh, weakest enemies in this dungeon. As no right there, they can poison you, but it's pretty rare, I think. But they're not that strong. Okay, enemy number two, battle flies. Um, I want to say that these guys know a status uh, can do a status infliction, but I'm not sure. They have the same amount of HP as the Todd stool, so I think is a uh, either 30 or 35. I can't remember offhand, but um, yeah. I think uh, the Battleflies are a little bit more powerful than the Todd Spools, though, attack-wise. Bump. <laughs> and also, I didn't mention this, but uh, if, if you... Um, a good way to uh, get Nash up to speed is actually train in front of the Alphina statue, because, well, technically you're training in front of a giant healing statue all the time. And yeah, see, so there you go. I've already leveled up Nash 1. Yay, Battlefly card! So yeah, heal up. So yeah, you can just heal and, you know, just keep training until Nash is up to speed. Oh, here's the third um, a, a enemy of the dungeon, the Ice Dog. Now the Ice Dog, you want to kill this as fast as possible because, although they have the lowest HP out of all the enemies in the dungeon, they also have a very high flea rating. Yes, I killed it! Hold on a sec, I gotta skip forward. Anyways, they have a very high uh, uh, fleeing thing, but look at that. If you kill them, a massive amount of experience. And of course, Alex and probably Luna's going to level up out of this. But yeah, like, they run very quickly. So if you don't have a fast character or a strong character, then, you know, you're going to lose out on quite some good stuff. And you also get a crap load of money, too. So yeah, kill Ice Dogs whenever you can, because they are very good. 
You know, I'm gonna see what this does. I don't know. Run song. I mean, I'm in front of the Alpine and Stat Jack, and I can waste magic if I walk. Whoop. I die anyways. <laughs> oh, that's a hilarious spell. Oh. oh, so that's what it does, though. Yeah. I thought it, it gets you out of all. It just k takes the enemies away. Oh, here's the final enemy. Finally, I've been uh, fighting for quite a while now. Er, sorry about that. All right, so uh, the last enemy it is called uh, Gunfoot. Gunfoots have, uh, I believe, 70 HP, and they have the highest attack rating. Basically, they are the most powerful enemy in this dungeon, so you want to limit your exposure to these things. Die. And I couldn't kill it. Ouch, look at that though, 24 damage Nash. And, well, he has the lowest eight, uh, defense and HP, even lower than Luna too, which is kind of sad. Alright, but yeah, there you go, all four of the enemies in the dungeon, so now no one, well, no one did complain, but now no one can complain. So this is a guy, Christian and I, Let's Play Lunar Legend, see you guys later.